my name is Sandra Pike. Uh, I'm a psychologist and uh, have been for many years a faculty member at York University in Toronto. Um, I'm here to receive the Alumni of Influence Award and I'm thrilled about that. I have several memories, uh, but uh, one of them has to do with uh, my feminist inclinations, which were evident even as an undergraduate. I was uh, director of the Women's Athletic Board and uh, discovered there was a huge differential in the budgets for uh, the women's ath athletic activities and the men's sports. And I suggested that uh, there should be equity there. And it was explained to me that the reason for the differential was that men's sports involved football, which was a very expensive activity. I suggested that we might just eliminate football and thereby have equity in uh, the budgets. Uh, as you're well aware, that suggestion was not supported. That's one of many, many memories. That's a great memory. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. How did your arts and science education help you in your career? Uh, well, interestingly enough, as a, as a consequence of uh, being an undergraduate student, and I think in particular, being an undergraduate student at the University of Saskatchewan, I developed an addiction for the academic life. Uh, the diversity of experience, the multiplicity of opportunities, uh, the excitement essentially associated with learning uh, was something that attracted me and as a result I've been part of an academic environment for my whole life. I think uh, one of the things I would urge them to do is uh, to uh, allow themselves the opportunity to, to explore the multiplicity of opportunities that exist at the university, both academic and extracurricular, because there's learning to be done in both areas. Uh, and secondly, I would suggest that they not be satisfied with a minimalist approach. Uh, that one should always aim for doing more than what one thinks one can. Uh, and thirdly, I think uh, students should look for a mentor who can expose them to the intricacies uh, of the discipline. Uh, and finally, I think students should be encouraged to form relationships uh, because uh, the relationships formed at university will probably uh, last them throughout their lives. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Sandra. You're, you're very welcome.